So this is my attempt um, this is the one side of my background this is how I decided to redecorate it um, I must say I really love how I stacked these containers really love it I love the look of jewelry in a acrylic container I think I need to get more of these containers then I stack everything up because I love the look of this just like this I love the look of it so this is how it looks with everything stacked up um, you have a mixture of everything my bracelets my earrings my watches on top here because I don't want my jewelry and this container to be dusty I just have a see-through thing that i temporarily have over here just to cover up for the dust but this is how this side is looking for this side 
we are still confused i think i want to do this i want to redo this whole side so we are still confused for the side so i just decided to keep it like this even though this is too full i have my hoops over here it's too full so i'll see what i can do so this side that's how it looks and then this is the most beautiful side that i am loving i can i'm gonna check if i can get more acrylic containers because pip does have pip home does have and they have bigger ones it's bigger than this and it is only 110 i think i need to go check pip home but this is how it looks and i love the look of it hey my love welcome back to another vlog welcome back to another video it's been a while it's really been a while so today we decided to pick up this camera because we are feeling a bit better um even though today i decided it is a resting day yesterday i was supposed to put this camera on a tripod so yesterday i was out and about with my family so today i decided i'm resting i was supposed to meet up with my mom but then i decided to call her this morning first thing and tell her that let's postpone for later on in the week because um i'm still recovering but we will get to that i will explain to you guys and it's also the time of the month so i'm in a bit of pain and i also have a migraine which i will explain to you why so um i really just wanted to rest today and i wanted to shoot some content because i'm slacking um, and I'm only slacking because I haven't been feeling well, so that's why. So I already have my foot mask on. I decided to also mask my feet because it's been a while. I used my regular foot mask. It's like it understands my feet. I really love it for my feet. And we are marinating my feet, soaking my feet, masking my feet. And this foot mask is very hydrating i really love it for that and it makes my feet so soft so i will have this on for 30 minutes and then after that we will remove it okay so i just finished applying my face mask um my feet are marinating in that foot mask and then oh i haven't set an alarm let me just set an alarm for my feet and then I'll also set an alarm for my face. For my feet, it is 20 minutes. Cool. And then for my face, it is 15 minutes. There we go. So I have my coffee over here. This is like a pick-me-up. I don't care how hot it is. I cannot function without coffee. I need it to pick me up. I need it to start my day. By the way, it is the first time in one week, in a couple of days, since I've had coffee because I couldn't so this is what happened i've mentioned in a couple of vlogs that i was struggling with one of my teeth my wisdom tooth it was giving me problems so um a week and a couple of days ago let's say two weeks ago i was struggling that whole week i was literally functioning on grandpa desperate and panado the whole time day and night i am drinking those all that medication day and night i'm functioning on that because that tooth was so painful um and i kept on postponing taking it out because um i remember when i went home it was i was home for almost a week i had no problems at all no tooth was bothering me the whole time when i was back home so it was an up and down with the tooth sometimes everything is normal and then out of the blue it starts from scratch so 
I couldn't two weeks ago. It was so painful. Wednesday night, I couldn't sleep. I was up the whole night because of pain. This whole side was painful. And that one tooth was making the other teeth painful. So it was like it was a lot of teeth that are giving me problems. But it's only that one rotten apple. Thursday, I couldn't sleep. Friday morning, I decided we are looking for a doctor. We are looking for a dentist. Um, I need to extract this tooth. I will not go into this weekend with this tooth. So, went on Google just to look for a dentist around. Um, we eventually found one. And then, um, I phoned to find out if they have an appointment on Friday. Yes, they did. And it was in the morning. They did have an appointment of available. And then I was ready to go, got up, got to the dentist, um, and yeah, I was there to extract my tooth. So, um, she does a scan on my teeth on the side, and then she finds that I have two teeth that are, actually three. So two teeth that are a problem. It's the one that was giving me a problem and also the next, the tooth next to that one. And then there's another one growing at the back. So that was the third one, which is a problem. And then I was telling her about the one that is giving me problems. And then um, it was a back and forth for like a good 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and I could see she was doubting she didn't want to take this teeth out This tooth out. She didn't want to take it. She was I don't know I don't know, but you could see like this person is trying to talk me out of taking this tooth out and then she told me that um, I Had done a root canal work on this tooth. So the best decision is is to redo it again and i was like there's no way um i have struggled with my teeth especially the bottom teeth i think it's like three mm -hmm, it's three i have struggled all my teenage life with my tooth i was back and forth at the dentist because it's only me and my dad who had problems with our tooth and we had the similar problems so it was only me who was back and forth at the dentist. So I, I know exactly what was done to my teeth. I know my teeth journey. So I kept on telling her, I want to take it out because number one, they did a root canal job on this tooth that I am complaining about. And then I kept, I kept on going to dentist back and forth for a full because i would have a full and it would last for two weeks three weeks a month or two months after that the feeling is out i have to go to the same dentist or i have to change to another dentist so it was always a back and forth with my teeth i explained to her that she tells me that um you can only do one procedure on your tooth you can never do a lot of procedures so um, when you kept going back and forth to the dentist, it was only because you were completing the first procedure you were doing. And I was like, I'm not going to argue with you. I know my teeth. I know my journey. You are a professional, so I'm not going to argue with you. It's fine. Whatever you say, whatever I say, sharp. And then she told me, like she was talking me out of extracting my tooth. Eventually, long story short, I told her, um, I came here to extract a tooth. I'm not going back home without taking this tooth out. I'm not going back home in this pain because she told me she can prescribe me something for the pain, but then I will have to look for another dentist who can do this root canal job on my tooth. And I told myself, I'm not, I'm not going that route. I'm not. So I told her I want this tooth out. That's what I came for. Um, so she said, okay, fine. Ciao. It took us almost two hours to take this tooth out. I have never experienced such excruciating pain in my life. Number one, she, she had the first needle, sharp. 
second needle cool and then she said let's wait for a couple of minutes for the needle to settle in i kid you not she waited for like two minutes or three minutes and then she was ready to start with extracting this tooth in my head i'm like this needle hasn't settled in yet and then she started with the ex extraction and i could feel pain i told her i cannot i can feel pain and then she said okay we're going for the third needle fine she gave me the third needle she didn't even wait for the third needle to settle in she went in to extract my tooth she broke this tooth so she had to take this tooth out in three pieces she also had to cut my gums so too much information too graphic but when i push um, the meat where I took the tooth out it's like the meat goes in pieces because she cut my gums in so many different pieces because she had she broke the tooth and she had to take the tooth out in pieces I have never been in such pain in my life and for the past Sana I've been speaking for so long but I'm so sorry I have to update you but the, so for the past almost two weeks i was swollen like i kid you not this is the second day i'm starting to look normal you cannot see any swelling i was swollen each and every time this whole side was so swollen um over here i looked so swollen you would have sworn i was getting beaten up that's how swollen i was each and every day um so uh, in conclusion i'm sorry for my language but she fucked up when taking out my tooth i don't know what she did i don't know what she was doing but it was a botched job she didn't do a proper job taking out my tooth and it was so painful i'm still in pain i cannot speak properly i'm struggling to speak but then i'm still recovering i'm coming back to normal that's why i couldn't even record that's why i couldn't start out that's why i couldn't start my vlogmas on time um it's because of the spot chop that was done on my teeth but anyways we move um hopefully i'm going to heal and come right um so yeah that was my painful story it was so painful like i was i was so furious i was really so furious but yeah i'm doing what i can to heal this pain to make sure i recover well because i don't want any infection i don't want anything to go wrong anyways we are done with the story time um so yeah next up um we are going to do my nails so i just want short nails for now i came across these nails they were 15 rand by the way let me take them out so I saw these nails at the store as you can see and I really loved them it's like a French tip I really liked the French tip and then they all have this butterfly purple butterfly so I just want to try them out and see how I'm liking these nails on myself um, I will just have to apply a top coat because they are so flimsy they are so lightweight so these are the nails i'm going to do let me just wait for this face mask to settle so i can remove it and then we can do <coughs> and then we can do my nails so for my hair So, for my hair, I went back to my locks. I had to lock this hair in. Because I still wanted to grow a bit. So, um, I did those locks. I was also struggling. Okay, that's for my feet. I was also struggling to finish my hair. Because I was in excruciating pain um let's moisturize my hair by the way um i did chunky locks 
I think they are the quickest and the easiest to do and I've realized doing these faux locks has helped my hair grow so much I didn't believe when I took the locks out that my hair had grown so much so I also want this hair to continue growing so um, I decided to go back to this hairstyle because it doesn't damage my hair instead it makes my hair so thick so full and my hair has really grown so I'm loving this hairstyle for that so I just did these chunky locks on myself I finished them two days ago so let's just moisturize my hair and and also do some baby hair because I look so horrendous right now <laughs> And when I did my hair, I especially made sure that I pull my baby hair, the bit of baby hair that I have to the front, because I didn't want to damage my hairline. It's already damaged. So I made sure that I pull a bit of the baby hair to the front. So that's why it looks a bit messy in front. Um, I'm not planning on laying laying my edges so i'm just going to use this one because this hair gel is very wet i regret buying it actually it is a very wet it takes time to dry up and i really hate that because a lot of times you just don't want everything to be dry right now but i think i'm going to go restock because I'm also running on hair products. So I need to go restock that blue ISO plus edge gel. I need to go restock on that one. But I also want another one. And I also want a wax. Because I might have to change my hairstyle. In the next week to come. That time I just did my hair. Plain plans 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 might change in the next week or so so i will have to get new hair gels for my hair That looks so much better I don't know why this camera is flashing but it's flashing and then I'll just tie this to the back for now sharp there we go let's moisturize my face I was supposed to first do that I'm going to use this Pond's moisturizer and I'm also running out of um, skincare. I also need to go. This is a lot. I'm panicking because my camera is flashing. Anyways, I also need to restock on skincare. I am running out. Like, it's like I'm running out of everything. I, got, I need to go restock on my moisturizers. I also need a new serum and what else my the pons toner I'm running out I really love this toner so 
as you can see we are running low I need to restock on that as well because I think currently Clix has a 34 2 special so I can get two moisturizers plus actually no I'm also running out of the pods cleanser same range so I think I'll have to go restock on a toner moisturizer and cleanser I will just have to buy an extra clean cleanse an extra moisturizer because these moisturizers run out in no time so i'll have to get two of this because that's what i did um when i got the syringe i got two a toner and a cleanser so i think that's what i need to do even now just to make sure i have moisturizers moving forward but i'll do that in the week so um yeah there we go moisturized now we need to go quickly do these nails <laughs>